Hi, I'm Jerry Harms, the hydroponics guy, and today we're going to repot cymbidiums into hydroponics. It can be kind of a challenge to repot your cymbidiums into hydroponics, but it's well worth the effort because they do really well in hydroponics. So, so here's the tools started. you're going to need to transplant your cymbidium into hydroculture. First of all, we have to choose the right size pot, and we're going to do that in a minute, but these are the culture pots that we use for hydroponics. Number two is a handy dandy stick. Chopsticks work good for this also. We're good. We use this to poke at the roots to get all of the bark and all that other crap off the roots. Next, a good set of pruners. I had to borrow Tariq's this morning because I lost mine. And finally, a hammer. You probably wouldn't think you would ever use a hammer to repot plants, but we use a hammer. And lastly, the clay pebbles, which I've had soaking overnight in a solution of KLN, which helps give the roots a boost, and they soak overnight in a, in a solution of two tablespoons per gallon of water uh, for the pebbles, and that's what we're going to use to repot the plants. So, choosing the right pot size. With any kind of orchid, you don't want to overpot or you don't want to have the plant in too big of a pot because large pots hold water too long and what we want to do is have this thing dry out. Cymbidiums, as with any orchids, they don't like wet feet. So, the first thing we do is we measure the pot, so the pot that it's in and that's about six inches. You can see that. So, the pot that I'm going to plant this thing in is I'm choosing a pot that's about seven inches. So that's only about one inch bigger. And I'm choosing that because I think that with my orchid, there's gonna be a lot of roots cut away because we have a lot of dead stuff on this orchid. Or the other point I wanna make is a pot like a nine inch pot, this would be too big. So now we choose our pot size. Let's get started and repot. All right, so let's start repotting our plant. First thing is, of course, we got to get it out of the pot that it's in. So, cymbidiums have tight root systems, and they are hard to get out of the pot. Like, I can't pull this thing out of the pot right now. So what I have to do is use my handy-dandy hammer and bang on the pot, bang on the pot. And there it is. It's coming apart. It's coming out now. Okay. And here you are. Not bad. Now what we want to do is we want to get all of this crap out of this root ball. And the thing of it is, all the crap that's in the root ball is up in the center of the pot. So we need to do some digging and digging and digging. To so get what I like out. to do is, because these roots are so entangled, and this thing is, is, is all full of stuff. What I'm going to do is soak it overnight in a bucket of water. I've got this thing filled up with water about to there. Warm water. I like to use warm water. And I'll just set this thing down in here and let it soak overnight, a couple hours or overnight, and that will make everything more pliable and then we'll repot from there. Okay, so now since we've had this thing sitting overnight in water, we're ready to start digging at the roots. And so here's what we have. Oh yeah, this looks good. That loosened them up really good. All right, so let me get rid of my water. Over to the side. And here we go. And this is going to be a mess. But believe me, it's worth it. Cymbidiums love hydroponics. So now, the first thing I do is go up into the center and dig this all out as much as I can with my hands and you'll find there's not a lot of roots in the center all the roots go around to the outside secondly I start plying this thing apart and I'm really aggressive here in getting all that crap out and I find an opening like right here there's an opening and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to get inside to get everything out I'm going to cut these roots and again, like I said, you can be really aggressive here because the plant is going to grow almost all new roots anyhow. Now, look what I got here. We're going to get all of this crap out. We're going to get all of that stuff out. There's peat moss in here. There's bark in here. No wonder these roots rotted. So, I dig at this with my hands. 
and get as much out as I can. And now the next step is we got to go to the sink. And so now here we are at the sink. I want to point out a couple of things before we start this. One is what are good roots and what are bad roots? Good roots are firm know. and supple. Bad roots are the ones that are hollow and flat. So if you squeeze them and there's nothing there, that's a root that we're going to get rid of. They're, but the roots that are firm are the ones we want to keep. We're probably going to get rid of two-thirds of the roots in here. And so the first thing we're going to do is just blast the bejesus out of this thing uh, with the hose up in the center to get that out. I'm going to use my stick and poke through some holes. Any place there's a hole in the roots, you poke through it because what you want to do is get through to the other side to get all of this stuff okay, out. Okay, here we go. Blasting it with a hose. Again, we're aggressive. Aggressive, aggressive with this. The kitchen sink ain't going to do it. Stay with it. Stay with me on this. All right, so now we're back at the table, and this is where we're at. We're pretty well ready to pot into our new hydroponic pot. And I just want to show you, I went in there and I just ripped out these uh, pseudo bulbs, all these old pseudo bulbs. And what I did when I did that is they were in like this, and you just take them and you just pull them off like that. And so that's what you're left with, and this is going to be our new plant. And the future of this thing, like I said, is in these little new growths right there. Now the other thing that I want to do while I'm here is remove all of this brown stuff in here to make sure there's no insects hiding underneath that. I'm going to turn over here. Oh good, here's a pseudo bulb. I can show you how to get that thing on. Old flower spike, dead root. Okay, so this, no that's not one. That's got good growth on it, so we're going to keep it. But I'm taking all of this going to be it when I our new plant looked in the bottom of this thing I saw some more bark and and charcoal and all kinds of stuff like that still up here in those roots so bear with me for a minute I got to go back to the sink one more time this is going to be the fourth time and so I want to show you this because with cymbidiums this is what you do back and forth and back and forth until you get all of the crap out okay so I'm off to the sink I'll be right back Okay, here I am back from the sink, getting all that stuff out, and again, this stick, my little stick here is really helpful in poking all that stuff out. Here's one last little piece of bark in there. And you know what, having said this, it doesn't hurt if there's a little bit left in it. I just get kind of crazy about getting it all out. Okay, so, so now we're going to pot into the hydroponic pot. Again, this was the pot I chose, and I kind of knew... I kind of knew that the roots wouldn't, uh, uh, there wasn't a lot of roots on this plant. So again, you want to have a nice snug fit. This is going to be a tight fit. Uh, this is the pot that it came out of. This is the pot that I'm going to put it in. They're roughly the same size. Maybe the next time out we might go to a little bit bigger pot. But this is what we're going to do today. And it's going to work out just fine. Okay, so the first thing we do is, from our pebbles that we're soaking, I put about an inch or so of pebbles at the bottom of the pot. Take my plant, gently but firmly, getting all the roots in there. 
push it down to the bottom of the pot. Now what I'm doing here is, where I saw that new growth, I'm trying to give that as much space as possible in my new pot. So there we are. Add some pebbles on this side. Add some pebbles on this side. This is just so much cleaner. I just really like growing my plants with hydroculture. It's so much better than that bark or moss. Okay, so now, using my same stick, I'm poking down in here, and again, I'm being aggressive because I don't want any air holes in here whatsoever. I want, the, I want these pebbles to go around those roots and around those roots. being careful that I don't smash the new growth. And, here you are. Your new Cymbidium growing hydroponically. We'll come back and visit this guy in about a month or so and I'll show you how the roots are taken off. Uh, because in a month or so we're going to be able to put them outside and we're going to grow them outside this summer. So there you are, repotting a plant, a Cymbidium orchid into hydroponics. <laughs>